Hello folks, this is uh, another video for me this evening, um, but this time it's not a mod video, a mod show showcase, um, it's a tutorial because I've seen so many people asking how to install add-on mods and I just thought, man, this is so easy, why why do people still not uh, get this working? And I thought, okay, you know, this is, I think this is quickly done, so I, I just want to do a quick video here showing you guys how to install add-on mods, because many of my mods require the add-on method, as you can see here, uh, pretty much every one of my latest mods is an add-on, and it would be sad if some of you miss out on these mods because you're not able to install it. So uh, let's just go ahead. I've got every one of my mods installed, of course. So um, I'm going with the Foxtrot Delders S64E here because I wanted to install this anyway. So I thought, hey, I can use this to uh, show it. So we click on the download button right here. I don't want to wait. Save it. Open it. I mean, actually, I always provide uh, text instructions for the add-on mods, but um, I think a video might be better for some guys to understand. So, here you have the add-on folder, you click on it, and you have S64E. That's the folder you want to have. So you go to Rockstar Games, the main uh, GTA 5 directory, and um, I'm using a mods folder. If you're using Open 4, you probably have a mods folder because it's just a lot easier to handle with than replacing original files. If you don't know about mods folder, I guess you should check it out at Open4. It's it's really really easy. So you go on it, you go on update x64 DLC packs. This is the path you need. All right, as you can see here, I've got all my custom add-on mods in this. Okay, so remember, Roxa Games or whatever your GDA5 directory is, mods, update, x64, DLC packs. So what we're going to do is take this folder, x64e, drag and drop it into the DLC packs folder. Right now here we have the dlc.rpf. You don't have to do anything with it, that's just uh, the file including model, textures, handling and so on. So now what we need to do is open, open 4, Windows, Okay, so now the files we need, so the game actually reads the add-on file. Uh, those are located in update, update RPF, which is uh, originally in the main Rockstar Games GTA 5 folder in update, here we go, but you probably have it in the mods folder already, so I'm gonna show it to you here. Um, then we click on the common folder, data, and here are the files we need. Uh, just let me switch quickly to this here. Um, we're gonna need the uh, extra title update data dot meter and DLC list dot XML. Click on edit mode because we want to modify them and you can drag and drop or extract them via right click extract but drag and drop is just faster. So uh, you drag them anywhere. I just drag them into this folder. I don't know, you can also uh, put them on the desktop or any folder you like. So what you're gonna need is uh, Notepad++, as you can see here. 
Um, so you can open these files with it. You can, if you don't have the program, it's really easy to find via Google. Um, so you can see here all the DLC packs. The original uh, Rockstar Games DLC packs and my custom add-on ones. So um, most of the authors of add-on mods provide the lines you have to insert here. But for me it's just easier if we, for example, copy this line. Uh, hit Control and C, so or right click, copy, hit Enter, and right click, paste. Now you have two identical lines. So what we gonna wanna, what we wanna do is get this away. Now you see here, what's it called? S64E is the folder called. So. We're gonna put S64E in here, save, and that's it for this file. Now we go to extra title update data, and uh, you, you have to, you know, you uh, don't click here beneath uh, this arrow, no, you wanna have this space behind the arrow as well. Now go up here, same story, not until uh, you hit the arrow because uh, leave one space here. Now, same game, copy, now you click here, again, one space, and paste. Now, once again, we have uh, the same entry two times, and again, we uh, delete the Firehawk, and put S64E in there. And that's it again, just it. Save, and you're done. So we have here, the entry, and we've got this entry. Now we can close it, get these files again, and drag and drop them into the uh, data folder inside Open4 again. As you can see here, okay, so um, now you've edited the, the data. Now you can delete them again because you really don't need them anymore. And yeah, that's it. Now you uh, just gotta go in game, and you can probably spawn the vehicle. Um, what you gotta do is you have to check. Um, I didn't do that right now. I mean, I guess it's uh, S64E, but um, you need to know the name of the vehicle. Yeah, you can see here S64E. So what you wanna do is go into the game, you need a um, trainer to spawn the vehicle uh, personally, uh, yeah, actually all of the bigger trainers, vehicle trainers should have an option to spawn vehicle by name you hit that option and then just enter the name specified in the readme or any text data included in the download and the mod should appear if it doesn't work, uh, I don't really know what it is because this is the correct way to install the mods. It always worked for me, so the problem would probably be somewhere else. Maybe you need a modified game config.xml. Um, but yeah, this is how you install add on mods. I hope you uh, managed to do it if you haven't already. And um, yeah. Hope this was some help for some of you guys and see you in the next mod video.